Good freaking morning, YouTube, and welcome to episode number three of Bigger by the Day, goddammit. And today, we're going to be going over everything you need to know about skincare. As you guys know, my skin was absolutely atrocious. My first ever cycle, I blew up like a goddamn pepperoni pizza from Domino's. And ever since then, I was battling skin during every cycle up until about a year ago. So today, I'm gonna break down the supplements I was taking, how I dose my drugs to prevent breakouts, as well as my skincare line. But first, we are headed to the post office because we have over 50 packages from the markplumber.com this week to deliver. I can't thank you guys enough for the support on the channel, on the website. Every single video is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, just like us, goddammit. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. The moment you've been waiting for the 500 freaking dollars going to one person that randomly liked and commented on this video. I know I made a post after that said, if you comment on this video, it does help your odds of winning. So if you don't have those post notices with that little bell notification turned on, turn that shit on so you don't miss another post or another fucking giveaway. Now you guys absolutely killed it. I think the video is at 2,500 likes. So if this video can get to 2,500 likes, I'm going to give away three six packs of soap. That means I'm gonna pick three winners and every single one of you is gonna win a three pack of soap. All you gotta do is like and comment on this video and I'll pick a winner on episode number four. So light this shit up and let's see who wins this $500. So we are on the YouTube comment picker, obviously from this video, which again, thank you guys so much. We're almost pushing 30,000 views, getting those views back up there. But let's get this going here. 701, let's pick this random fucking winner. Let's see who fucking wins it. Let's fucking go, Edgar! You have just won 500 fucking dollars, baby. If you guys like and comment on these videos, again, the more likes, the more comments, the bigger I'm gonna go and give away. And hopefully by episode 14, not only are we gonna be at 100,000 subscribers, which is the goal, but we are going to give away the biggest fitness prize pack you guys have ever seen. There's gonna be supplements, there's gonna be SARMs, there's gonna be peptides, there's gonna be personal training, there is going to be cash and a lot of cash. So again, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, and let's get back to the video. And I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to go and get needles or insulin needles from the pharmacy if you live in Canada. I know a lot of you guys are super sketched out about going to ask for them, so I'm literally gonna go film myself ask because I woke up this morning and I was about to inject my growth and my BPC and my TB and I had no fucking insulin needles, God damn it! So I was like, holy shit, I'm getting smaller by the day. I know that like sometimes buying this stuff can be super, super trippy. So I'm also going to put a link in the description. Now, I don't make any money from this. This is just something that I used in Florida and I know it's super reliable. You don't even have to leave your house. They will literally ship it to your front door. Some pharmacists are super like they're just dicks and they don't want to give it to you. But especially if you're in Canada, they'll give you anything you want. So just ask for it. Don't be scared. Hello. Can I just have a box of those eight millimeter insulin syringes? Yes, please. These are my favorite ones to get with doing any type of peptide. Um, because they're ultra fine, doesn't hurt whatsoever, and the markings are super clear, so you can never have to like worry about hitting the wrong dosage. So we're gonna wrap this up, we're gonna drop the packages off at the post office, and then I'm gonna give you guys the first tip, which you probably won't expect, but I'm excited to share with you guys. Guys, so you know where we are. We are at the tanning beds, and uh, guys, I cannot explain to you. We're about to drop some knowledge on here. This shit right here, it's called Melanotan 2. 
No matter what your skin type is, it'll help you get dark as a motherfucker and drastically has improved my skin over the last year. Now, I only take this when I'm like getting ready to go do something, but the minute I start taking this, not only do I feel just unreal because the, it also works off your central nervous system, but it also gets you so dark and so nice skin complexion that you pair this you pair this shit with the tanning beds and you do it like every other day. Holy guys, I cannot explain to you how freaking amazing your skin's going to look. And that's just step 1. We got three more freaking steps. So, I'm going to take 500 micrograms of melanotan 2. Just be cautious with melanotan 2 because it does make you nauseous. So take more frequent lower dosages instead of trying to pile it back. That's my only recommendation. So ideally, try to take it before bed, but I'm kind of used to it now and I've been taking it before I actually get in the bed and it seems to be getting me a lot darker. So I'm gonna wrap this up and I'll see you guys for point number do's and our pre-workout meal. I know Rich Piano always says, Elevator mirrors that have great lighting, just you can't help yourself but go boom! But if you've ever seen a tanning salon, makes you the lighting that gotta go boom, god damn it. <laughs> Boy, the size is coming back fast. Y'all better watch out, y'all better watch out. We're about to get my pre-workout down, but the second tip is panthetic acid. Now, I have ran Accutane in the past. I never did it long enough because the two times I did it, I only had three months that I could stay off cycle before I needed to compete again. So I only did three months the first time. And then the second time where I committed to doing 60 milligrams a day for six months, around like the three and a half month mark, I started getting ridiculous nosebleeds because I was stupid and I didn't know you were supposed to like Vaseline your nose. Like I'm like, okay, like should have known that. And I could not get the nosebleeds to stop, so then they took me off Accutane. But then I found out that panthetic acid actually helps reduce the buildup of oil in the pores. And if you mega dose this shit, you have a lot less oily skin than you did before. Is I take a thousand milligrams three times a day. So three grams a day, I try to do it in like the morning, middle of the day, and night, and guys, it has actually done wonders. Just doing that by itself will do wonders for your skin on and off cycle. We are doing two scoops of Gorilla Mode Icy Rocket, and guys, when I say two scoops, I mean two freaking scoops, all right? You need to be cranking that shit. These need to be your scoop sizes. You need to get that shit in there. Now it's legit 7.30 at night, but I know taking pre-workout late is probably gonna not help me sleep. Even if I do take Gorilla Dream, I mean, it does help, but when you crank yourself that much full of caffeine right before like you're supposed to go to bed, it doesn't really work that way, but I also have business goals as well as fitness goals. So if I can't sleep, I'm actually very productive through the night. So when I get home from the gym, I will work on editing my businesses for three, four hours until I cannot keep my eyes up anymore. And then I'll go to bed and it'll all be good. So I mean, obviously work with your schedule. If you have to get up at 6 a.m. tomorrow, don't take two scoops of freaking pre-workout at eight o'clock at night. Um, there's an answer to everyone. It's about fitting your schedule. I'm lucky. I get to kind of do whatever the fuck I want to do, but I was not in that position before. I was grinding for five years, having to put up with the bullshit of my job telling me when I needed to be there. So our pre-workout Cialis, goddammit. So I break this tablet in half. So I do 10 milligrams of Cialis before every single workout because... Why the fuck not? I mean, today's arm day. So my arms have always had trouble growing. And the best way to get your arms to grow is not heavy weight. It is blood flow. You need to pump your arms to the point that you cannot even move, that you can't even jack your dick because there's too much lactic acid built up in those biceps. So we're gonna crush all this and I'll see you guys in the gym. Let's get it.
just got home from the gym. And before you make your post-workout meal, before you do anything, mind you, we've already had our, pro <clears throat> our post-workout protein shake on the car ride home. Get your ass home and get to the fucking bathroom and take a shower, goddammit, and use my Acne Attack skincare soap line. Obviously, I've developed the Acne Attack skincare line to prevent breakouts, do all things like that. I mean, every time I used a black charcoal soap, I could never find an unscented, non-exfoliated version. And that was the biggest thing that I wanted to make this brand, because every time they would put lemon extract or something like coarse in it, every time I was rubbing it on my skin, it was irritating my skin into having a rash or breaking out. I'm like, why are all these people putting an exfoliator in a bar of soap that you're gonna use every single day? Especially if you want to use it on your face. You cannot be coursing your face off with lemon extract every single day. And not to mention the scents that they would add in. Like, obviously, we like to smell good, you know? <laughs> but with that said, scents irritates the skin. Even if they're all organic or bullshit, whatever you want to call it, scents will always irritate your skin. So I developed a non-exfoliating black charcoal unscented bar of soap and it has honestly worked wonders for me. I've sold over 550 bars. Everyone absolutely fucking loves it. So if you want to pick some up, first link in the description, but whatever you do, just make sure you stay clean. A lot of acne is because you're gonna come home after sweating your ass off in the gym, then you're gonna sit down in your sweaty ass clothes, you're gonna have your post-workout meal, and then it's just, you're gonna sit there in your own dirt, no wonder your skin's gonna break out. So every morning and every night, you must be showering. The last tip I have before I'm gonna say ciao for now is injections, guys. When I first started, I did two injections a week and I thought that was more than enough. But when you have sensitive skin, even injecting two or three times a week is too much influx in testosterone and estrogen. Your levels start to taper off by the time you do your next shot and then by the time you do your shot, it spikes up again, causing you to break out. So at bare ass minimum, and what I'm doing for this specific cycle is I'm doing NPP and test Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and then I'm doing EQ every other day. So I am injecting seven out of seven days of the week, alternating those two things. One, I enjoy smaller shots. I think they absorb a lot better than trying to shoot three CC baby please into your fucking delts. It really balances out my hormones so I have no issues with skin anymore. Obviously I have all these acne scars on my back which you can see and I'm not gonna lie, I do get the odd breakout here and there but with the supplementation, with the injecting, with the acne attack skincare, I've monitored my breakouts to almost nothing. And I just want to see you guys do the same because nothing beats down confidence like bad skin. So I'm going to shower up, make our post-workout meal, and I'll catch you guys for episode number four. Let's get it.